Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. This is Gail. Today I have some outgoing happy mail. This is for Karen. She is at um, confetti underscore paper on Instagram and she has been so kind and patient waiting for me to do the swap. It was due on April 1st. The pandemic hit and then I took time off to sew some masks and stuff like that and then I struggled with creative mojo and you know it's just kind of weird time but now I'm finally back on my crafty groove and luckily I had all the embellishments done but I just had to do like all the um I don't know whatever but it is finally done I still feel like it's not enough she sent me so much um but you know it's not a contest it's whatever but I hope she likes everything that I am sending her way now our main um project that we were going to swap is the pink and yellow sequins and confetti paper I'm sorry craft purge did the tutorial for the little bookcase so I have used bloom we did a spring swap so I have used bloom and I just have some ruffle crepe paper here with one of the stickers from the puffy stickers two little layered butterflies that I do and then just some butter just to keep with the butterfly theme some butterflies in the back there um, her books were constructed much better than mine and it gave me a lot of inspiration how I'm going to do mine next time and then my cat just stepped on this um but I'm just gonna have to if I don't just get this out and send it I just really need to just get it out so I have done like a little belly band on this one this is like a stretchy little kind of organza ruffledy ribbon and in this book I have just some die cuts from the collection now those are just print and cut that I have made with my Cricut Okay, and so there's that little book with the bird. I love this little bird, little shipboard. So cute. These little gems. I love my gems. I got those from KG Crafts. And this one has a little mini tassel and some beads. And another chipboard just layered on some um, scrap paper that from doing the projects. And in this book, I have an uh, organza ribbon closure and my tassels. Now, I'm not happy with my tassels. I am not going to swap tassels anymore because I can't really do great tassels. So I did these paper tassels and I have just put them on like a little, I forget what you call this. So she can put beads or just attach it to the project, however she sees fit. And I had one extra little one. So I threw that in there. So cute. Little baby one. Okay, dokie. So this is the second book. Sorry if I'm off frame. Actually, I can just do that after the video. And this one is again another little belly band. I just have some of the small cutouts and a chipboard and some gems. And these are my bows. So I am obsessed with these little bows. Now these take forever to make because you have to cut so many pieces out of the die cut but it's so I, I love these bows so these are the little bows that are inspired by Soto Creates who is Vanessa and I got obsessed with these bows she sent me in our Christmas swap and I had to buy the die and I am completely obsessed but one bow takes one two three like four times through the die cutter and my cats are gonna fight in the background. Sorry about that. I ain't got time to deal with it. So these are my little bows. And then I have some of the Coco and Reno bows. I have, those are a couple Coco Reno bows. These are the pink and mane. And in my, um, so cute. I guess I, well, you can watch Soto Create's video on how to make these little bows. They're so cute. I love it. I don't know how a little sequins got in there. But so I made a bunch of little tiny bows. Oh my gosh, so cute. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with these little bows. And then just put the gem in the center. So cute. I'm obsessed with these little bows. Okie dokie. I will put this back after I take pictures of everything. To put on my Instagram so I'll put that back also later because I'm gonna photograph everything this is probably my favorite book I love this paper and then I um, have accented some of the green and then a little yellow bird to bring out the yellow from the flowers 
and I can't remember what's in here. Okay, so I have um, some paper flowers. We agree to do flowers, tassels, rosettes, and bows. And I suck at tassels. I'm never agreeing to swap tassels again. Her tassel she sent me was amazing and it was big and chunky. And I just had those little paper ones. And I'm sorry, Karen. I can't do tassels. But I love these little, um, I have some layered flowers here. So you can see those are just like the layered flowers with the gems in the center. And then I have my mini flowers that I did. Is there a jump ring? A random jump ring is in there for some reason. Um, little mini flowers that I did with the punch and even tinier little flowers that are just like a quarter inch around. They're just tiny, 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 tiny and cute. And the rest of them are just little punches that, um, Christian gave me in my last swap, which was a Maggie Holmes swap. And so these little flowers are inspired by Christian. Now she sent me flowers Karen sent me flowers that were made out of felt and were just like stunning so stunning and I'm so inspired by the box that she sent me um I'm so tempted just to take another month to do the swap and make mine better but she's already been waiting oh my gosh so patiently for this swap thank you so much for your patience I just had all kinds of issues and then had to stop and sew masks and and then I made her these little tags and it says handmade with love by at confetti underscore paper just so she can put on her her project she swaps out and then I will put that together off camera all right and then I didn't have any way to I couldn't fit the rosettes in there I'm gonna have to go through I think and put wet glue on this as well um so I only could find one of these little containers at the Dollar Tree so I could make the suitcase one so I just made a really simple vellum shaker lid and left it clean and simple on the top with two flowers one of the gold leaves and all these are just from the bloom ephemera I try to make it so the sequins uh, so many sequins got stuck under the glue but that's it'll come out there we go so I use the rest of my shaker mix there and inside here I just have some rosettes and hearts so there's my first rosette and it is with one of my shaker hearts, a little puffy sticker and a little bird that I did um, with my Cricut print and cut. This rosette is just some backed on some glitter, a glitter medallion with a couple little print and cut ephemeras. I put a staple there, some flowers, a little butterfly that I print and cut. And this one just has um, layered with some tool, one of the shaker hearts, another puffy sticker. And so those are the um, rosettes that I embellished for her. And then I have just sent some blank rosettes for her to embellish herself. And then I did some little itty bitty rosettes that she can embellish or just put on a paper clip or whatever. And then as some extra goodies, I have sent these shaker hearts. They are labor of love, but they are so worth it. Look how cute. And these were, I did a video on these, a craft with me. So these are all the shaker hearts that I made that I didn't put on her little rosettes. So she has six to work with herself. And then I put some wax seals in here in colors that go with blue. I was running out of space to add all her stuff. So I did a loaded hoop and the bookcase and I still didn't have enough room. So I did this little box and I really actually really like it. It's just super clean and simple, love it. And then this is just a little bag of washi. It's a Maggie Holmes, it's a whole set of washi, but I took some of it out to make this washi wand. So this is just a little um, how I packaged the washi and then I barely glued this on so she can use this doily again with the deer. The deer might be from Flourish, but it was in the same thing as little container, so I just used it. And some flowers by Prima. Actually, yeah, those are all Prima flowers. And here is the hoop. I'm really happy with how the hoop came out. Is it coming up right there? No, don't do it. There's, I have so much stuffed in here that it is out of control. I might have to take something out but it just looks pretty I like it the way it is okay 
So I have in here a little notebook. I made this with a Lyric Lover tutorial. So a little bloom um, notebook. I made a washi wand. And so it just has some little a flower and some beads there. And the rest of the washi, I gave her the whole pack of washi, but I put it in this little bag. But I wanted to do the washi wand because I like the washi wands. It's so fun. And then I made it. This tassel came out okay. So I made a tassel paper clip. And I'm okay with trim tassels, but yarn tassels, I just, and paper tassels, I guess, are just not my forte. But I made this trim tassel, which is various trims from the Michaels Trim Bundle, some trims from KG Crafts, some yarn, some organza ribbon, I mean some yarn, some Maggie Holmes ribbon right there. And I just braid it thin. I need to get my lighter. And give that a zap. Okay, so there is the little tassel, and I have here some packaged embellishments. These are the shaker jars that I make with vellum, so I just die cut the jar and the vellum and sew, and then put my sequins in, and then they have the layered butterflies, and she can pop up that top layer. Uh oh that came off. I always have my hot glue gun ready. I had used tape there, so maybe I should have used hot glue on that. All right, and then for, I hate making bag toppers, so I just did these little stripped, um, stitched strips. I did a bow, and then these are the Coco and Reno lace, I mean rosette dies. So I just used one section of it to do the top there. I did the same thing here, but I used a ruffled um, crepe paper that I stitched with my sewing machine, one of the paper flowers. And these are some mini banners. And then I have just a couple of store-bought gifts in here. The day-to-day -day planner stickers, these are really cute, but she can use, um, some of them you can use for paper crafting. And then I hope she has a planner. And then before the pandemic hit, I bought these at Tuesday morning, which I just got an email that they opened Tuesday morning back up, but I'm not going shopping. And here are some stitched strips for her to use. And I just put them on a little binder clip. And then on the binder clip, I put a little flower charm and then a pin. But if this really is coming up, I'm going to just glue it down very quick. If you will bear with me, I'll try not to stuff it so full this time. It's so stuffed. Hey, Claudie. Hey, baby. Claude just came to say hello, but he's not messing with anything, so I'm not going to press my luck. And that is everything that I have made for Karen. I hope she really likes it. I feel like it's not enough. I mean, it's going to be comparable size box to what she sent me. But I'm just so in love with what she sent me. It's just so original and I love it. And thank you guys for joining me. I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And I'll see you in the next crafty video.